Let's go ahead and talk about histograms. A histogram is similar to a bar graph. It's a way of displaying data, but the bars should be touching in a histogram, whereas they're not necessarily touching in a bar graph. You can scale your axes using the midpoints of a frequency table or even the lower and upper class limits. The y-axis of a histogram always represents frequency or relative frequency, and the x-axis is going to represent your, your data values, what uh, category or class they belong to. So using our pulse rate data from the previous examples, I have my five classes here, and I could use these lower limits on my x-axis or even these upper limits on my x-axis, but I went ahead and chose to use the midpoints. So you can see for each bar, the height of the bar corresponds to its frequency, and the middle of the bar is that midpoint value. So my first class has a midpoint of 61 and a frequency of 3, so my bar is centered around the number 61 with a height of 3. For my next class, my frequency is 9 and my midpoint is 74, so my bar is centered around the 74, and you can see the bar extends all the way up to 9. So this is what a picture of this frequency table looks like. Histograms tell us a lot about the shape of the data and its tendencies, and it also helps us to see outliers.